Hello, a very good evening to everyone. Today we are going to discuss the case note of Anna Dijana, a 42-year-old female patient who had who has undergone external fixation and fasciotomies at her right lower leg. So this is the case and let's go ahead with the task which we are assigned to. If we go ahead with the task, we can see that we are going to write a letter to Miss Kathy Ina. And this is a letter of discharge. And this particular person, the addressee is a community nurse at uh, a community care. And what we need to do is that inform her about her condition, the patient's condition, her medical needs, her nursing needs. So the patient's current condition, medical needs and nursing needs. These are the things <coughs> that we are going to see in this particular letter. So we have to address the community nurse and inform her that this patient is discharged and she is responsible for the further care at her care. She has to receive some medical requirements or uh, nursing requirements. For before that, we need to state what happened to her. So this is what we are going to say. The patient name is Anna Dijana. And she got admitted to hospital on 15 July, 2018, discharged after 10 days. So the thing is right approximal tibia fracture and lateral tibia plateau fracture along with the compartment syndrome. And this is the diagnosis of Anna Dijana. And what we have given is external fixation and fasciotomies to relieve uh, the compartment stress or <coughs> the pressure uh, at uh, her right lower leg. Now, uh, pertaining to her past medical history, she had seizures and is on carbamazepine. No. Now let's go ahead with the medical background. What happened to her? And then on the day of admission, when she came to our care, what happened is that she fell off from stairs and she got injured her right knee, which was evidenced by unable, she was unable to bear weight on her right leg. So she came to the hospital. So this is the, the medical background, what happened to her. So this is what we have to say in a letter. Now, what about the social background? She is a school teacher by profession and she has two children. Now, she she doesn't smoke, but she drinks occasionally, or she's a social drinker. The patient, when when she came to the hospital, she came. Okay, so she came to the hospital. She was rushed to the operation room for two incision for compartment fasciotomies, right lower lung. So <clears throat> immediately we have done the procedure and uh, the fractures were stabilized with external fixator 
and fasciotomies performed to relieve the stress on compartments. Now, we have given her pain medications, okay? So that's the only uh, medication we have seen here apart from the seizure medication here. Now, what are, what is the nursing management? We can see the vacuum assisted closure therapy given to the fasciotomy incisions to extract the uh, drainage and abscess if it's the need. But now, right now, wound and drainage from the wound assessed for signs of infection. Now, there is no sign of infection. Patient is free of infection. The wound is red in color, free of drainage, no drainage right now, no odor, no redness, no signs of infection at all, no pain, no swelling, vitals are normal, and patient is resting comfortably. So this is the final assessment here. And right now we do have an important part here, what is the requirement of the patient. So the requirement is that patient teaching about the wound side, signs and symptoms of infection and notify a nurse immediately if anything changes. Teach the patient how to keep the area sterile by keeping blankets and clothing out of reach of the own resting the extremity body part, advising any visitors of the same factors. All these factors should be intimated to the visitors too. Teach the patient about the expected drainage. <clears throat> now, let us go ahead with the letter. Letter. 25 July, that's today's date, what's given on top of the letter. You have uh, the addressee as Kathy Ina, Community Nurse, Glasgow, UK. Dear Miss Ina, reference Miss Anna Jana, aged 42. Thank you for accepting Miss Anna. This is a discharge letter, so you, uh, you have started like that. Thank you for accepting Miss Dijana because this is a discharge letter. Okay, so thank you for accepting Miss Dijana. Who requires continuing care? So she is discharged, so she requires some continuing care. And education regarding the wound care to prevent any possible infection. So she requires continuing care and education regarding the wound care. Right now she has a wound to prevent any possible infection. Okay, now the purpose is very clear and she has undergone an external fixation with face theotomies on her right lower leg. So that said, we have got the purpose very clear. Now, Miss Dijana, Miss Dijana was suffering with severe right knee pain at the time when she was admitted, when she got admitted on 15th of this month, following a fall from stairs. So on 15th of this month, following a fall from stairs, she got admitted to the hospital. At the time of admission, she was suffering with severe right knee pain. It's there in the first sentence. A detailed assessment revealed a right proximal tibial plateau fracture along with compartment syndrome. Her diagnosis is written there. Therefore, she was transferred to the operating room. So it was written OR. So we have to write the full form there, operating room. And the fracture was stabilized with the external fixator and fasciotomies were performed to release the compartment syndrome. <coughs> now, 
this is what we have seen here. Now she was rushed to the OR, fracture stabilized with external fixator, phasiotomy is performed to relieve the pressure. Okay. Uh, Okay, post operatively, she was prescribed with pain medications and vacuum assisted closure was performed on fasciotomy incisions. Now, uh, we have uh, the medicine here. Now, the name of pain medications are not given. She was prescribed with pain medications and vacuum assisted, assisted closure was performed on fasciotomy incisions. At present, her wound is free of infection and she is in a comfortable condition. Okay. Ms. Dijana is a school teacher and has two children. Yes, she drinks occasionally. Okay, now she is a is a social drinker. It was given like that, and has a history of seizures for which she is on carbamazepine. Now that's a social history. It would be appreciated if you could teach Miss Dijara and her visitors the ways to keep her own sterile, including keeping blankets away, because you are going to teach Miss Dijana, and the same should be taught to the visitors too. You can see patient teaching about these things, advising any visitors of the same factors. So I have seen these two things. So, so what is the advice given to Ms. Dijana? The same advice should be given to the visitors who are visiting Ms. Dijana. So this is what we need to understand. So we don't need to write a second time. So advise the visitors of these uh, factors. No, we don't need that sentence here. So in order to avoid repetition, we have said teach Miss Dijana and her visitors the ways to keep her own sterile, including keeping blankets away. Okay, so I can say such as such as keeping blankets away from the wound, resting the leg and affected area. Kindly instruct her to alarm you or any nurse immediately if any changes are observed on her own. One more thing is there. Teach the patient about the expected drainage. Okay. Also, teach her about the expected drainage. Okay, clear. It would be appreciated if you could uh, make aware Miss Dejana, because we have used teach uh, in the second sentence. If you could make aware Miss Dejana and her visitors the ways keep her on steroids, such as keeping. Okay, now it's clear. 
Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any further queries regarding Ms. Dijana, your sincerely registered nurse, New Victoria Hospital, okay. So the matter is very clear, the purpose is clear. What happened to her? What we have done? How was the progress, the social history and the requirement? So everything is here. <coughs> And that is the end of the explanation here. Thank you. Have a nice day.